Ahoy there, sailors! Welcome aboard to another exciting journey on the high seas. Have you ever wondered how these colossal ships manage to stop without the brakes we use in our everyday vehicles? It's a question that might leave you scratching your head, pondering the mechanics behind it. After all, we rely on brakes to stop our cars, bikes, and even shopping carts in our daily lives. But when it comes to ships, the story is quite different and far more intriguing. Ships are massive, weighing thousands of tons, and they move through water, which creates unique challenges for stopping. The sheer size and weight of these vessels make the process complex. Imagine trying to stop a moving train on a slippery track. That's kind of what it's like to stop a ship. The momentum and resistance of water add to the difficulty. But don't worry, sailors have figured out some clever ways to bring these floating giants to a halt. From anchors to tugboats, they use a variety of techniques. So let's dive in and explore the fascinating world of how ships stop without brakes. Get ready to uncover the secrets behind this nautical marvel. First things first, let's talk about brakes. Brakes are essential for controlling speed and ensuring safety, especially on land. We use brakes on land to create friction, which is a force that opposes motion and helps us come to a stop. Friction is a force that opposes motion. It's what allows your car to slow down when you press the brake pedal. When you press the brake pedal in your car, the brakes create friction against the wheels, slowing the car down. This friction is crucial for safe driving. Ships, however, don't have traditional brakes like cars. They can't rely on the same friction-based system. Why? Because friction works differently in water. Water's properties make it a unique challenge for stopping large vessels. Water is much less dense than the ground, so brakes wouldn't generate enough friction to stop a ship effectively. The density difference means traditional brakes are impractical. So, if ships don't have brakes, how do they stop? They use alternative methods that are just as effective. Well, they use other methods that rely on the properties of water and some clever engineering. Let's take a look at these innovative solutions and how they work. One of the oldest and most reliable ways to stop a ship is by using an anchor. An anchor is a heavy metal object attached to a chain or rope. When the anchor is dropped into the water, it digs into the seabed and creates a strong hold. The anchor acts like a giant hook, preventing the ship from drifting further. It's like throwing out a heavy weight to stop yourself from sliding on ice. Anchors are particularly useful for smaller ships, or when a ship needs to stay in one place for a while, like in a harbor. Section 4. Full Speed Reverse Now let's talk about a more modern method reverse thrust. Most large ships today have propellers that can rotate in both directions. When the propellers spin one way, they push the ship forward, but when they spin in the opposite direction, they create reverse thrust. Reverse thrust is like putting your car in reverse gear. It pushes water forward, which creates a force that slows the ship down. This method is very effective, especially for larger ships. However, it takes time and distance for a ship to come to a complete stop using reverse thrust alone. Section 5. Tugboats to the Rescue Sometimes, ships need a little extra help to maneuver in tight spaces like harbors. These areas can be quite challenging due to the limited room for movement and the presence of other vessels. That's where tugboats come in. They are the unsung heroes of the maritime world, always ready to lend a helping hand. Tugboats are small but powerful boats specially designed to push or pull much larger ships. Despite their size, they pack a punch with their incredible strength and maneuverability. Think of tugboats as the superheroes of the harbor, guiding and assisting giant ships with their incredible strength. They can turn on a dime and provide the precise control needed in tight situations. They are essential for docking, undocking, and navigating through narrow channels. Without them, many large vessels would struggle to reach their destinations safely. So there you have it. Tugboats play a crucial role in ensuring the smooth operation of busy ports and harbors. Ships may not have traditional brakes, but they've got their own set of tricks for stopping safely and efficiently. Tugboats are a key part of this process, using their power to slow down and position ships accurately. From ancient anchors to modern reverse thrust and the mighty tugboats, these methods ensure smooth sailing on the high seas. Tugboats truly are the unsung heroes, making sure everything runs like clockwork. 